All right, guys, it's a new day, and let me show you this. Let's see where we were yesterday. Hopefully, I can connect this to the same video. Uh, going for my secret sauce, one coil to the second coil. This one will always be the more active one. Uh, comes over here. They're all in series. This is a earth ground. And then this wire just loops around. Okay, if I remove that green wire, I would have to move this over here. And then in, I would be blowing out these LEDs. I'd have a ton of current over there. So that's why we have the loop right now. It balances the energy through all these LEDs. Anyhow, all right. Um, right, now this one here that's just near the coil. Uh, these are not lit anymore. Uh, as you see, I've got 30, 40, 50. And now you see just this coil here, which is very close. Very close. Okay. A full wave bridge rectifier. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. What is that? 120. It's 120 LEDs now. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm really liking this, guys, now. 120 LEDs. This is a sense, a record, because... I only have four volts applied. <laughs> four volts. Lighting up 120 LEDs. Four! Only four! And I have more lit off of here, off the pickup coil, than I do off of this one. So that's uh, quite interesting. Mm. Yeah, uh -huh. Going back to that Don Smith thing with the coils. I, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's got me thinking. Anyhow, guys, um, yeah, maybe I will try a larger coil here. It will give a bigger field. It's almost like this one's sucking. The field is like being pulled to the side or something. I'm not sure, because now these don't light up. And I also do not have two resonant frequencies now. I only have one. So they're kind of balanced with each other merged a little bit which is what we want all right staying at that four volts um, and I got my meter across these last 10 here uh -huh. 23 volts 2.3 volts across each LED <laughs> to the math okay uh, before I move on I just want to point something out here and here's our earth ground now this is the positive end if you connect it to the negative end there's nothing everything's out it's got to be on the positive end and now here's the other thing. Watch the brightness of these. And I disconnect these. And turn these back on. You'll notice these did not dim out one tiny bit. Okay, so in other words, you just added 50 more LEDs without like robbing the system of any energy in a matter of speaking <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> so all right we'll be back all right guys uh, yeah I don't know maybe I'm on another breakthrough here uh, these are still not lit let's just remove this AV plug here uh, let's just drop that on the floor there we go now it's nice and simple see everything
So what do we got? Uh, 70 and 7. Here's 140 LEDs lit. Uh, actually, I had to increase that gap distance. Uh, they were touching at the top. So that is very interesting in itself. That distance is critical. Uh, yeah, this is... I'm quite excited about this. I mean, 140 LED... I already got so many ideas. Like I said, I'm going to be working more with coils, that's for sure. Uh, we're still at 4 volts. Um, now, and the other thing is, can I add another coil here? Can I get this many more? I don't know. That's something I'm going to have to experiment with. 180 LEDs lit with 4 volts. This is so much better now. This is exactly, I'm seeing the same thing from my viewfinder as I'm seeing with my naked eye. So you guys are finally able to see these LEDs as I'm seeing them. Yes, this is perfect now. Um, okay, so let's zoom out a little bit here. So, <laughs> so one wire coming from my secret sauce, one coil to one middle coil to all these LEDs. This goes to earth ground. Uh, this green wire loops back around. Uh, if I don't use that green wire, we're going to have all this current up here and blow out LEDs. So this balances the current through all these LEDs. Now you can see I've got two other coils. Now these are just like pickup coils. Strange, this one has to be a slightly bigger distance than the other one. I don't understand why yet, uh, but anyhow. Full wave bridge rectifier. And I was able to add all these other ones on there. And then this side, I said, well, let's see if we could put another coil on there. There we were. So let's see, we got 80 in each one, so that's... Uh, 240 LEDs lit with only 5 volts. Alright, I also want to show you guys this. I'm going to reach over here and we're going to start increasing the amplitude here. Watch what happens. Six volts, seven volts, eight volts. These are getting brighter. These are getting brighter. These are staying the same. Eight, nine, ten. Again, they're still getting brighter over here and over here. Not that much in the middle. We're at eleven, twelve. 13. Now the outside ones are staying the same and the inside one is getting brighter. 14, 15, 16. Those are all very bright right now. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't doubt it if they have close to 3 volts across each one right now. Alright, so just wanted to show you that. It's interesting that these two out here keep increasing. This stays the same, and then all of a sudden it reverses. These two stay the same, and these start increasing in brightness. Okay, we're still at 5 volts. 
uh, I just took the wood out from underneath these two. It was just an experiment I was trying to see if the coil would be better, you know, with the middle of this coil up near the top or the bottom of that one. And it's not. And actually the spaces are now more even. So this is where I get the best results. Those coils being even on the same plane as each other. Okay. Alright guys. Uh, <laughs> you see there's 80. 80. 80. 80, 320, 80 on each coil. This is our main active coil. Now this one needs the earth ground. These other ones will stay lit, still stay lit. The energy is still there. So what does that tell you guys? I don't know. You tell me. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh yeah, right. That's only. Uh, that's still only five volts. Now with each coil I added, the frequency did drop. I started around 2.7 megahertz. Now I'm at 1.94 there. Only 5 volts. Maybe at the most a half a watt. 320 LEDs. So, all right, we'll uh, see what we could do with this now. I'm getting close, guys. I'm getting close. Oh yeah, I also wanted to point out that, well this is the last section I added, and if there's only 30 on there, it's not lit. So all these coils have to be balanced with their loads. And these distances here are crucial. They're not perfectly aligned right now, and I could adjust them better. All right, I believe I've gotten them just a little bit brighter. I think so. Some fine tuning. I didn't even fine tune those. I fine tune my secret sauce. We're still at only five volts. So yeah, that's 320 LEDs. Hey guys, uh, Paul Venture 3 here. Um, coming from my secret sauce. One coil coming to the Bifiler Tesla pancake coil. Now you see down there is a full wave bridge rectifier. That's lighting 50 LEDs. Let's see, this one is in series with this pancake coil. This one comes to these 80 LEDs. This is a ground wire going to earth ground. Uh, the green wire loops back around. Uh, this is just an Aframenco plug, but just a, it's not attached to anything. Um, over here, our full wave bridge rectifier. 
Now I used to have these two hooked up to another small coil, It'd be a pickup coil. Oh, I'm too close. <laughs> As I go near it, you can see the lights go. Uh, this red wire now. Uh, there's nothing connect. Well, okay, we're just connected positive and negative to these LEDs that are all in parallel. And the sine wave, one of the sine wave ends, is connected to. Uh, there's the red wire to the green wire, just to the plate ground common plate uh, I also have another one connected that's not connected to anything though <gasps> oh, excuse me <laughs> so what I'm seeing over these last few months is that there's multiple ways uh, these things can be done so I have no pickup coil now it's about two inches Dis huh. It's about two inches distance. Now it also doesn't matter if I put the positive under here or the negative under here. Uh, because as a pancake coil, the fields are kind of going up and down as opposed to using one, another one of those where the field is moving outward. It's about the same result so far. I'm gonna do a few more experiments with that and 